everybody, welcome to This One Arcade. My name is Ricardo, and on this episode, um, we're going to be going back on the, on the Star Shooter pinball machine. And uh, I really love this machine so much that uh, pretty much uh, gave uh, Tim an offer he couldn't refuse. <laughs> but anyways, um, I do actually uh, like to work on this and get it back to, you know, good as... Um, in good condition and, and one of the things that um th there's a couple of there's actually a couple of things that needs to be fixed on um one of the um but the main thing that we're going to be doing today is uh there's uh these bumpers right here when the ball comes by and hits it it bumps it out so um there's one there's one right here that it's not working at all because it's the the feet is actually broken and the problem with these um with these brands, with the uh, um, allies, is that they're they're flippers. They're um, they're made out of plastic compared to the other ones are made out of metal. So um, they have a tendency of breaking. So um, I was able to I was lucky enough to actually find one on, on eBay and uh, I ordered it and uh, got it over here. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. So uh, yeah, let's uh, go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and. Uh, Start taking this apart and uh, we're going from there. All right, so this is the piece right here. And um, as you notice, the whole thing is made out of plastic. And um, these guys, this is what pretty much what happens. There's the leaf switches. So whenever the, the springs hit, the, the rubber band hits, the, um, hits on it, it sends out the, you know, the coil to spring, spring back. And that's what makes the, the ball kick back. So that's what we're going to be replacing. Um, let me just uh, lift this guy up. So this is the one that we're going to be replacing here. Um, now, I like to actually keep the leaves and also this coil. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna be replacing um, the housing and also the, the plastic. So let's go ahead and get started with that. All right, so um, what I did is I took it apart and um, this is the main piece that we're gonna need because uh, that's the one that's broken. Anything, everything else is working fine. There's no reason. There's no reason for me to take the whole thing apart. Um, so first thing is first. Gotta get in there and take out this little. I think it sucks that these guys are a pain in the butt to get out sometimes, <laughs> especially on the angle. And also, I gotta be careful because these little things actually made out of plastic, so I don't wanna break it. That would suck. There we go. My advice magnetize your. Um, <laughs> magnetize them. Uh, you, <laughs> blah, I can't even talk right now. Uh, you should magnetize your screwdrivers because if it ever falls down, you know, it's always a good thing to have. It's always a little pain in the butt trying to get this out. Especially on joysticks. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> Try to show how that <clears throat> that's pinned in place there. So, um, so these guys, they have pins. And these pins are actually made of plastic also and they just pretty much slide in and then the other one you just put in your uh, your pin there and uh, I usually 
keeps it keeps it held in. Um, so to take them out can get a little tricky. Reason being is because oh we are gonna have a little problem here. The switch in the way. Switches is in the way, so we're gonna have to release the switch. Yeah. Was there room to get it off on the other assembly? No, it's it's pretty tough. Well, <clears throat> or the the other switches were a little different angle, weren't they? Yeah, they were kind of angled out. I've noticed that the switch on this one is larger than the one this one has. Sure, sure, it's a different it's, pinball, so. So I'm gonna have to. Oh. I see, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's extra insulators in there. It's very hard actually because, oh, actually there we go. Be a little patient because there you go. Let me do this.
That one's not magnetized. <laughs> you think? <laughs> Oh, come on. Go ahead and... Thirty-four easy steps. Right. <laughs> you got it. Well, the problem is, is that um, this thing is just done away, and because of the cable, it's so short. Oh yeah, yeah. It just won't. The ground line. Yeah. Let's compare the two parts. Oh yeah. So here's the one piece. Here's the piece is broken completely. Here's the other half. Oh yeah. All right. Let's see if we can. is that when you're trying to do something quick <laughs> trying to do a fix uh, a quick fix it's not happening yeah, always something happens something always yeah exactly something always happens or... can you feed that in from up top I could yes I don't know if it'll make the bend Now the fun part. So the first thing, yeah, you're close. Hey, getting there. Get in there, that's what she said. <laughs> oh, 
All right, it was a pain in the butt, but I put it in there. So next thing I'm gonna do is put these guys back in there. Here's the fun part. You gotta make sure that these guys are all lined up correctly. Or they're not going in. That's what she said. <laughs> Sometimes you just want to get frustrated on these things, but have a lot of patience. Because if you try to rush things, and well, <laughs> get yourself another broken part, and uh, they know. don't make parts for this one anymore. No, they don't. And uh, I forget when Allied Leisure stopped making games, but it must have been around 1980. I don't, I don't know. Early 80s, maybe. Early 80s. This one's what, from 1979? 1979. The same year that I was born. <laughs> All right, well. All right, you going to try it out? I'm going to make sure. Does it physically yes. move? Yes. Right? Make sure that it moves. Okay. This thing has been bugging me so much. Hear big zap run. <laughs> so far, so good. Let's 
simulate this. There we go. Try to get the high score that way. The high score? <laughs> Your switches might be too close because it's it's doubling up. Doubling up? Yeah. <laughs> cut, cut the power. I think it, yeah, you don't want that coil to seize up. Oh, yeah. But uh, if your switches are too close, they'll, they'll vibrate and uh, kind of chatter like that. And you could probably use a good cleaning, too. Yeah. manually test your so you blew a fuse I did yeah all right all right let's check the fuses here I'll cut the camera all right all right so from that flickering thing which is great um, I blew one of the fuses so that's amazing I love that so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, yeah, it's it's always a good thing to have the correct fuse installed. Don't ever over fuse something. Oh yeah, because you could burn burn a coil, or it would have burned the uh, power driver transistor. I'd rather have um, rather have what's it called the uh, fuses be blown than uh, something major blown. Yeah. yeah. Kind of readjusted these switches, I guess. So yeah, the switches were kind of close together, and that was my fault when I was actually moving around the um, when I was doing the oh, setup. Oh yeah, that probably got. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to redo this this thing right here, but. There you go. That's... That's better. Still needs some adjustment. Yeah. They make a specific adjustment tool for those wave right. switches. Well, cool. So, very good. Very good. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is, uh, the next episode, I think I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Try it, see how it looks. Um, do a LED kit and um, see how, how it comes out. I'm just gonna try it out. Um, I'm gonna brighten up the, the play field. So, areas that, um, that show out, um, I like to actually bring out, uh, try like a white LED, see how that goes. Um, hopefully, it doesn't like overkill it. Um, if it does, um, I'll get the softer LEDs, so I'll make them look exactly the same, but um, less power, less um, struggle with the system, so I like to do that. Um, then replace these little guys right here, because um, as you see, they're all like, they're all broken. Um, 
think I, where did I put the other one at? Whoa! So these guys, they look like this. And I um, think uh, putting them in there, they sell them with different types of colors. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then the last thing will be um, replacing all the rubbers. As you see, one of them's already been broken. I just wanna buy a brand new set of wires, I'm a wires, rubber bands to actually sell them. Um, this are the kits for it. So I'll be doing that. So yeah, that's about it. Um, I also wanna try to fix this right here. And then also the play field, see what's wrong with it with the matrix. Um, finding out. I got a feeling that probably it's going to be a wiring problem if it's not um, working, so work on those things. So that's about it. So thank you so much for watching this little arcade. My name is Ricardo. We'll see you next time.